Sagittarius, something started with this karmic, and now they feel like they about to end it. They moving around with the chariot, seven, thinking they're going to get lucky. They haven't learned their lesson. They're detached from, to me, reality. They move impulsively. They're repeating a negative pattern. They want to get something filled like they feelings to things that no longer holds value. So basically, your partner is so um, focused on the negative. This is why they cannot come to you. This person is um, lack of choices. Going through judgment, <clears throat> making snappy judgment. That's what's said on this card. They mind, body, and soul. Your person's in their unrequired love. With the empress, emperor in reverse. They're looking for opportunity, whoever they're with, from pets. They can't calm down and have peace. They're trying to look like they're independent. Or they think they can be independent by roaching off of people. They've been communicating. One who is calculated and unconcerned with the feelings of others. It's this karmic energy. Whoever your person's with. They keep getting failure because they're moving with ill will. They're not getting recognized. That's why they uh, want a new beginning or they've been socializing about their feelings, about their relationship. Well, they're not really ready to commit to anyone. They're just looking for someone to use because they're trying to hold on to their possessions. And they feel better. They feel good about the shit they doing. Okay, you about to meet someone new. That's more emotional and mature. While this third party is... has, uh, You've been having a lack of social life. You see that the grass is not greener with this person. They're unbalanced with this Libra. You're in reality about your will of fortune and you will be traveling soon towards it. You've been speaking dominant, telling this person what you want and what you're not going to put up with. And that is, uh, they want to challenge tradition. So you innocently just moving on. You about to make an agreement with someone else or with a job or something. You doing your inner healing, resting it. Because to me, you've reviewed everything. And you need to review everything with this new person. This was a waste of talent and time with this person. You feel like it was this person's not gonna be successful. That's why this person is in grief, sadness. That's why they can't be positive. They ain't around an unfunctional dysfunctional family in a dysfunctional relationship you know you're more nurturing that's the difference between this you're more nurturing you're more masculine feminine creative what situation you're like you have logic and clarity that you're not moving and not going to get seven with this look with this chariot and you're going on into your honeymoon phase with whatever it is you're doing this person is not stuck between two relationships because you're doing your own fucking thing and they probably think you're waiting on them. They in the maybe zone. Here go another maybe. Lack. Another maybe. Uh, bad luck. Disorder. Setbacks. They're in regret. That's why they're upset. Daydreaming and fantasizing. That's why they all up in your fucking energy. Focus on the negative. That's why they're not feeling fulfilled. They're not balancing their emotions. This emperor, empress in reverse. And it sounds like they could be married. Or, you know, they're not going to be anything in life. Your person has 
probably relocated and moved to another residence. Remember where they thought they found love. But it was no attraction. You know, they used their intuition. Because they haven't did their transformation. They're doing the same shit the karmic's doing. And now they have no peace of mind. And they're not going to be able to manifest any fucking thing. So now even with the new person, they have conflict. Because they have issues with from their childhood trauma. They're not transferring because they're too hooked up. They're too hooked up on getting what they want. They've probably gone through things with the laws. This is why they know that it's not going to be greener with them. They have a lack of money, poor financial control. Lost opportunity. They feeling trapped. What's the choice your life is holding you back? They have no logic and clarity. They don't get it. They foundation their relationship. This is earth energy. It's going nowhere in their life. And that's why they can't come back to you because they tried to move. So... What are those other cards? Here we go. Let's rush them real quick. I don't have that long, but I wanted to get this in. Because to me, it's the same energy. That's why they're in the same energy. They're doing the same shit, and now one of them don't get anything out of it. Because you don't have to worry about demons or, you know, you got your shit under control. Of course, this karmic is loving, gaslighting different people. Your person is trolling you and they need therapy. Where they at? You was bitching and standing up for yourself or you said what the fuck you had to say and you haven't, you haven't, you have not let go of it. You know what you want sexually. So this person, you know they secrets. They going through a breakup. They're not a narcissist. But they are a fucking liar. And the dates they going on are in reverse. That's why they 